Hey, what's up team? Welcome to Resources for the Modern Creative where we help you become a Logic Pro Power user. And in this session, I'm gonna be teaching you how to convert from 44K to 48 in the most honest way possible. Let's say you join a session, perhaps you space out and record and you realize, oh man, I'm in 44 and my client, my publisher, my licensing house wants me to record at 48K, what do I do? Well, I have a way for you to rectify this and save your files. Now granted, even though I cannot increase the quality of the recordings, I can create a session where everything is now being played back and recorded at 48. So go ahead and check out this video. And as a reminder, if you're interested in signing up for all 10 free courses that we have coming up here in a little bit, the link is in the description below. These Logic Pro courses are gonna absolutely change your life. So go ahead and check those out and let's get into it. Here we go. Okay, so here is the problem. You already have your session laid out, everything ready to go. You realize, oh geez, I'm at 44, I'm supposed to be at 48. Let me play you this and show you what it sounds like at 44. <laughs> So you hear the track and if you try an up sample from here, it's going to sound not very good. Check it out. All right. So not sure if you caught that, but some of the waveforms actually moved because the session is being processed in a different way. So let's check this out. Let's listen. <laughs> Okay, so obviously that's not going to work. So let me take us back to 44. And alas, all is well again. Check it out. All right. But we know that our client wants this session at 48. And when we render the files, they want that information to be encrypted. And so what we're going to do is we're going to hit the key command F. We're going to go into the project bin. I want you to select all the files inside of the project bin by hitting Command A, and then you're gonna go into Audio File, and you're going to convert the files. A dialog window will come up, and you go ahead and select the appropriate sample rate and bit depth. If you are downgrading from 48 to 44, you might wanna look into dithering. That's not what we're doing now. And then something else that I want to do here is I'm just going to see if I can create a tag at the end just to see our file. So these are called test. Let me see if this is embedded. So let me save these. And these are being saved at 48. Now, if you're curious where these are going, these are going into the same folder or package that you saved. Let me show you what I mean. If I go into the audio files, you can see a batch of files that have been named accordingly with the tag test. And so now when I switch over to 48, look at what happens. If this doesn't work for some reason, you might wanna turn flex mode on or off to see if things are lining up. So just a heads up, things may not fall perfectly in line and that's because you need to turn flex on or off let's see if these guitars are in line all right team that's it for me just a reminder if you want to sign up for the 10 free logic courses go ahead and check out the link in the description below these classes will teach you how to master logic how to really learn the program in and out so you can see it the best way possible. You can hear your music on a whole different level. And so you can feel the power associated with never having a problem within this DAW again. It is certainly possible. I want you to win. It's time for us to get our W, to get what is meant for us. So let's keep this going. Keep learning, keep growing, keep evolving, and keep your frequency high. Let's go. Get high. I'm